So, this is our. Uh, ready? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, this is our current uh, array camera sample. And uh, compared to a traditional camera, it's very obvious that uh, instead of having a single lens, we have an array of 4x4 four four, uh, smaller lenses. And what that does is that uh, you know, we capture 16 images. Uh, they're all in focus uh, simultaneously. And through our uh, super resolution processing and parallax processing, we generate an 8 megapixel image and also 8 megapixel depth. And so in this image, for example, this image right here after our processing is an 8 megapixel image that you know, is equivalent to uh, you know, some of the latest uh, smartphones. And beyond just the 8 megapixel image, it's a depth map. So this depth map is our what we call a raw depth map that identifies a lot of edges. As you can see already, without any additional processing, um, you can clearly see the uh, silhouettes of the two person here as well as the table. Um, and using this uh, uh, raw depth data, we can conduct further processing to make it a, what we call regularized depth map that will be suitable for 3D purposes and also for image and object segmentation. So this is an example of an image where we have done the additional processing. As you can see, uh, although the color is not very obvious, um, the objects here are uh, have a clearly smoothed out surface based on the depth data that we have. And based on this, we're going to start building 3D models, we're going to start building uh, you know, gesture uh, recognition and, and other interesting features on top of it. Uh, as I mentioned, one of the features that uh, we're developing is uh, is actually you know, based on the depth. Besides uh, just the image, we can also do refocus and multiple focus. As you can see here, very quickly, I'm able to refocus the original all-in-focus image to focus on uh, uh, this young lady in the front. I can also move into the back, or I can have multiple focus points. And these are effects that uh, a traditional camera is unable to do. And is often actually very useful. For example, if you're standing in front of a monument and you want to focus both the monument and yourself, then you can blur out everybody in the middle and focus on what's important, you and the monument. Um, going back to the depth data, based on the depth data that we have, we can identify and segment uh, image uh, objects and people from the image. So, in this image, we have identified the three individuals, and I can start interacting with them individually. I can apply filters to them. I can adjust the brightness. Or color intensity, rather. Or I can adjust the brightness. Besides that, I can remove some of the people from the from the image, as well as replacing the background. So these are types of uh, immersive imaging experience that we want to enable with the Pelican uh, camera technology because currently with a regular camera, yes, you can apply filters, yes, you can share the images. However, uh, the level of interactivity kind of stops there. If you want to do further editing, you may need Photoshop, you may need kind of advanced skills to achieve that. However, uh, what we're trying to do here is to enable that level of uh, 
uh, image editing and interaction uh, you know, without significant skills. So we can do all of that in a touch screen.